I had a script written for this video, carefully explaining each note for the recent patch and what it might mean for the gameplay in Sim. Usually we get an update and yeah, they're nice, but in my opinion, it's not often one comes along and completely changes the face of a simulator. For me, this could be the single most important update Automobilista 2 has ever had. Let me explain. With AMS2, I've always deeply enjoyed the experience in slower vehicles. The Caterhams, for example, are absolutely awesome, but as the speed and the aero ramp up, to be perfectly honest and somewhat brutal, it's always felt fundamentally broken to me. I don't and didn't know where the issue was, but I can explain the feeling. In downforce cars, I always felt there was far, far too much yaw or rotation. You'd be really, really fast into corners and aero should be in full effect, and then you get this really weird rotation about the centre of the car. The tyres would break traction, but you could basically drift through when it happened it put me off driving such cars in the sim. So when I saw the April dev blog, I was very, very hopeful that these issues might be the target of the upcoming developments. Indeed, Renato directly said what I felt the issues were, noting two different portions of the tyre model were conflicting with one another, creating an odd behaviour but also having a knock-on effect onto aero and suspension. He further went on to say that the update should bring a more precise response to steering inputs and a feeling of being more connected to the road, that the tyres will punish peak slip angle more severely, and honestly, in my mind, this was exactly what my issue had always been. So this morning, I looked at the patch notes and saw Formula Ultimate Gen 2 had been updated to the latest 1.5 physics. I didn't want to react too quickly, I really wanted to make sure what I was feeling wasn't some placebo, or the fact it was early and I'd only had one cup of coffee, but I took the Formula Ultimate Gen 2 out on the newly released released Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya and I was blown away. Each lap gaining confidence, leaning on the tyres more and more, out of the slower corners being more and more confident and I wouldn't break traction in an unexpected way. If you've raced any sim for any amount of time, I'm sure you'll relate to the feeling of just one more lap. I need to be clear, this wasn't just because I wanted to drive, this was because I felt connected, I felt I could push, I felt like I was a racing driver and it flipped the switch in my head that said more, more, and more please. In my initial testing, I felt none of the rotational issue I had previously. If the rear did break traction, it wasn't in the weird drifty way it would before. If the car rotated, it felt like it was doing so at the rear and not at some centre point which feels odd. I wish I could explain this in a deeper, more technical manner, and it really is bad of me to say, but if you've experienced it, you know what I mean. Did you ever experience this, and am I even making sense? let me know down below. I did decide to go onto the time trials to see where I was versus others to make sure I was pushing. I used the setup of the number one driver and managed to put in a time of fourth place. The setup made it feel extremely pointy and did leave me thinking there was still some work to do with regards to aero, but the rotational issue I had problems with still didn't present itself. Make sure you hit that like button and follow by using the subscription button guys. Each like really shows the YouTube gods that people enjoy this content and subscribing make sure that YouTube will show you my videos in the future. Thanks. Fairly recently, I'd driven the Formula Inter a lot at Brands Hatch on the Racecraft Online service. To get the most out of it, I had to tune in to the odd rotation prior to the update, and I was basically drifting the first corner in order to maintain speed. I've just done probably 40 laps, and I was really giving it some. If the rear stepped out of line, it came back with my usual correction, and it felt as you would expect. Previously, you could feel there was this middle ground you could sit in. It felt suboptimal, as it was super loose but you could maintain speed doing it. For me, at least, I couldn't feel it anymore. I also tried the P1 car at Catalonia 2 and I managed to top the time trials in that and I have to say it felt absolutely brilliant. All in all, this update feels absolutely brilliant. If you're a fan of the Formula Type cars or something like the P1, then do go and check it out. I'd love to know what your feedback is of the update. Has it made it better or worse for you or can't you even tell that they've made any changes? let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you on track.